It's a two-speed pair of ASIO 53 Harkin winch. Okay. Um, this is used for the main sheet on Arctos, which is a pretty powerful rig. And uh, there's been slight slipping, so due for service. So. Okay. At the moment we've taken her apart, we've already cleaned her. This is just, um, we're showing now just simply how how quick it can be done. So. Okay. Ready? Ready. <clears throat> Normally you would have the nuts and bolts to undo, which we've already removed. But when we put it back together finally, we'll be doing it with all the nuts and bolts. Well, I'll dismantle it as far as that because we don't need to take any more off of it, basically. So, what we do is we wash all the bearings, re grease them, we wash all the gears, wash everything basically, get rid of any uh, dust or build up, grease build up, and then we re grease them with the correct grease, which is a Harkin grease here. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of oil on the ratchets, just a minute piece. You've got to check all the springs are loose. Are working correctly, sorry, nothing's sticking. It's when these stick, these stick down that a winch can uh, let go. So, this is very important that these are very clean, very loose. Too much grease in there can cause them to uh, get grime and stick. So, I'm going to try a bit of grease and oil right in here, just, just, just a little bit of engine oil. Okay, that's good to go. So I'll start putting it back together now. They're quite fail, fail safe. For example, this gear can't go in the wrong direction. So, although they look quite complex, they can be quite easy to put back together. tell by the wear which side up that goes to the bearing. Not that it matters but <clears throat> as you can see this has got two bearings in the spacer. Always keep in mind where the spacer sits. These again have been washed um, washed and greased. There's another ratchet here which I'm going to put some grease on. Oil on, sorry. And again, very important, they must be loose, very loose. Here. Bearing, spacer, bearing, check they're all working. The main housing block goes on. A little bit of oil in here. Greased as well. The hole here lines up with the shaft. What Alan key, George? That's the ratchet one.
Duralac. We often put these on the stainless screws when they're going into components like this. These have already got a little bit of Duralac on, so I'm not going to put any more this time, but Duralac is something you often use, especially when it's stainless to aluminium. Greased, not too heavily, too much grease, clicks, um, dust and uh, salt, and it can clog, so not too much grease. George has done a lovely job of cleaning the components, by the way, and re-greasing. <laughs> I've got the easy part putting it back together. No fame. No fame. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the easy bit. I think next one we have to switch places. Personally, I always check. I always double check as to why it works. Okay, that's the easy bit. You have to put this in just a little bit prior to it going on, otherwise, you won't slip in. George, where do you want the uh, going in? Similar to this one. Back there? Yeah, that's fine. Obviously you can change the position of this, so how you uh, feed the line in and change where you set. We're going to go where, there, which is where she was before. And final flathead screw to hold her in position. I will put a tiny bit of Duralac on this one because it's dry. And what that does is it protects from the salt water and makes it less likely to seize and corrode. Voila! That's a fini. So I noticed that uh, your apprentice uh, was taking photos of uh, the dismantling process <laughs> and uh, I, I assume that uh, if you don't know what you're doing you should take photos of everything you dismantle as, um, as you go, right? Yeah, it's a very, very good practice and for me, I mean I've done these winches before but it might have been a year ago, Each, these winches are different anyway, the components, Win winches and other boats, we have a different so even though you might know this one, within a year's time, we've done different ones, so... And there's so many spaces and washers have to be in the correct place. It just makes it so much easier to take, as every stage you do, take a picture. And then if you, as you, earlier, as we did, go through the pictures to make sure you've got it correct. And then when you go to the second winch, it's much, much quicker. Okay. Alright, thanks guys. Nice one.